let's talk about kites. So a shape of a kite, which I just, for my own entertainment, drew a little tail and ribbon in here like you're flying a kite. A kite consists of two pairs of congruent sides. But unlike a rectangle, which the congruent sides are across from each other, in this case, the congruent sides touch each other. Okay. Now, where the two congruent sides meet, so here and here, you know, these are called the vertex angles. Okay. Now, the next property of kites is that the non-vertex angles, so these two, will be congruent to one another. The next thing has to do with the diagonals. Now, diagonals just cut through our shape like this. They're going to connect the two vertex angles, and they're going to connect the non-vertex angles. Those diagonals bisect the vertex, the vertex angles. So mark those in. These two are equal, and these two are equal. Now, they might not be necessarily equal to each other across the the kite, but they bisect, uh, that diagonal bisects the angles. Next property is that this bisector, the one from vertex to vertex, bisects the other, I guess I better put three in, bisects the other diagonal. And finally, this bisection makes a 90 degree angle. There's a right angle there. Let's write all of these down. All right, so let's just point these out. Two pairs of adjacent congruent sides. So this pair and this pair. And again, unlike a rectangle where the congruent sides are across from each other, these two actually meet. Where they meet, so these two meet, is a vertex angle, and these two meet is a vertex angle. The non-vertex angles are congruent, so this angle and this angle. The diagonals bisect the vertex, so our diagonal here from vertex to vertex cuts the angles into equal, two equal angles, okay? The vertex diagonal bisects the non-vertex, so the, this one, vertex to vertex, cuts this one into two equal pieces, and the two diagonals are always perpendicular to one another. A lot of times it's very evident by the picture and kind of drawing a kite like the kind of kite you'd fly kind of leads you to all of these things. But these are the big properties that make a kite. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe for more geometry help.